Criminal Defense Attorney David Schwartz is here to break it all down. David, good morning. Welcome good morning, here. Judge. In the studio, former prosecutor David Schwartz. I want to bring back in David Schwartz, criminal defense attorney. David Schwartz, I didn't mean to put you on the spot or anything. David Schwartz, you are certainly quite legitimate. You're an experienced trial attorney. Give us your thoughts. James, I was absolutely flabbergasted by your interview of the prosecutor. I would have ended the case where this body washed up. They should stick to the meat and potatoes of this case, and that is the manslaughter charges. David, how much of a risk is this for the prosecution? It's their whole case. The kidnapping theory kicks in. There are plenty of people that are going to care about this trial. The real question is, is it harmless error or is it reversible error? I'm sure it's going to be fast and furious. I don't think his testimony well, flies. He's incredible. Okay. Well, all husbands are targets. Right. But this particular husband has done his best to make himself into a target. This is another celebrity prosecution. They were going to take this case to trial no matter what. The Neverland search stands, yes. correct? Yes, that it does. Up. That was the, the big news. The yet. judge ruled there was probable cause to search the Neverland, probable cause that a crime did take place on that property and that the police properly searched that premise. The balance is between the individual rights of the athlete versus the integrity of the United States of America. So we're going to say you could no, slam no, someone's head. Wait, wait, you Rob, could, you could slam talk. somebody's head into a board. Right. You could slam in here, you could punch somebody, yes, but you can't can. punch him from behind, but you could punch him from forward. You could slam his head into a post, but you can't slam it into the ice. Where does it stop? Absolutely She's accusing one of the top basketball so, players in the country of rape. How did she expect this to be a private right, matter? But I couldn't disagree more, and the operative word is trained well. Why should a rape victim ever be trained if, if she's telling the truth. But in this particular case, it's bizarre behavior. There's certainly a cloud of guilt over him, right. and his attorneys have rightfully advised him to stay silent. Let the police prove their case. Right. This should be a civil case, not a criminal case. Accidents happen every single day. It was not foreseeable that this cable would, would break the way it did in such a tragic way. As a defense attorney, you want your client involved at all times, at every single stage because sometimes your client comes up with some of the best defense strategies. This is a Supreme Court case, Brady versus Maryland, which states clearly that all exculpatory evidence must be handed over to the defense immediately. Mm -hmm. Not tomorrow, not the next day, immediately. And certainly not three months into the trial. This is an egregious error. Uh, on the part of the prosecution. On the part of the prosecution. Mm -hmm. If this is evidence that tends to help the defense, they have to hand it over.